Brett Okamoto with UFC heavyweight Stipe Miocic, who takes on Daniel Cormier in a rematch, a uh, title fight rematch, UFC 241 this weekend in Anaheim. And Stipe, obviously, this is a week that you've been, you've been waiting for for a long time. How does it feel to be standing here knowing the fight's only a few days away? Oh, fantastic. I feel great. I feel amazing. I just wish the fight was here already. And the family made it in okay? The wife and daughter, they flew in? Yeah, they got in yesterday, and you know, my daughter's already eating, so it's a, it's a good thing. She loves food. <laughs> she loves food? Where did she get that from? Definitely me. Yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely uh, we're, we're, we're cut from the same cloth. Sweet tooth, or is she like a meat know, eater? Know, or? Whatever, she eats whatever. She like where one day she was eating her birthday party. She had like noodles, strawberry, some cookies. It was like just a trifecta. She didn't care. It's all over the place. She don't care. Yeah, she wants food. What's it like having your daughter here on a fight week? Because this is the first time, and I know we we kind of been talking about oh, Stipe has been waiting for a title fight. He deserves this rematch, and that's sort of taken the narrative. But a lot of for a lot of guys, the first time they have a fight week with with a newborn, it is different. Has it been different for you so far? Uh, yes, no. I mean, my wife's amazing. She uh, she's taking her. You know, I mean, she, she knows I have obligations and doing other things. She's just like, listen, you do what you do. I got the babe. You come see us when you can. You know, my in laws are with her, helping her out too. So it's it's been great. Disneyland trip planned? I think they're I think they're going today. Kind of bummed. Yeah. I want to go. I couldn't hold off until Sunday? No, we're leaving Sunday. I want to go home. <laughs> I mean, I love Anaheim, but I want to get back home. Well, I guess that's what the photos and the videos are for, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's so why I feel terrible with myself because I wasn't there. I'm a terrible father. Well, we've gotten through what this week feels like. What has this year felt like, honestly? I mean, you've had some great things happen in your personal life, but I know that it, there was a chip on your shoulder and you felt you deserved the rematch and you were annoyed with a lot of things that was going on. What was what was the most difficult time during all of that when you didn't think you were getting what you deserved? I mean, it, it, it was difficult. It just, you know, it sucked because at times I didn't think it was going to happen, but I just had faith, you know. I was like, it's going to happen, it's going to happen, and it did. But honestly, this year was a blessing, you know, having the year off, getting hang out with my daughter, watch her grow up, and just let my body rest and my mind rest. You don't seem like the guy who would, who would care about this, but it seems like a lot of the, the talk about this fight is around whether or not DC will retire and whether or not he'll fight John Jones after this fight. Have you had any reaction to that whatsoever? You should probably worry about me the more than that. You feel like he's not? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just saying, you should probably worry about me more than you should worry about the other things. What does this fight mean to you in terms of compared to some of the other fights in your career? You've been in big, big fights. I think of the Verdun fight down in Brazil. Does it mean something different? Oh, yeah. Every, every, every fight's the biggest fight in your career. And this one right here, yeah, it's going to be uh, this one to top it off right here. What are the biggest changes that you've made to yourself since that loss one year ago? A lot of things. You know, just worked on a lot of my weaknesses, you know, and worked on his strengths and just, uh, you know, trying to, try to null and void uh, his strengths so I can, you know, get that easy win. Do you feel any different about Daniel Cormier than you did the first time you went in to fight him? Uh, I mean, it's a fight, man. It's all business. Well, the business is Saturday night. We're all looking forward to it. Best of luck. How does it happen? I know you get your hand raised. The belt goes around your waist. But you got you to gotta knock this guy out to be satisfied? Of course. Of course. Always going for the knockout, of course. But, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, just going to do my thing. Walk in there, get my belt, and walk out here and you again. Looking forward to it. We're already dressing like a champion. So we'll see you with the belt around your waist on Saturday. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Bye. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+.